Hello. I said I was going to build a Dunadine deck to play um, the Lost Realms. Now, the problem is that um, I only really have three Dunadine heroes. Um, because uh, with all of the between all of the opened packs that I have, um, because obviously I have not opened the adventure packs that come with the Lost Realm yet, because um, if you were to play, you would probably not even have bought them um, in one go because they wouldn't have been available. So the only Dunedain characters that are heroes that I have are Berevor, Aragorn, Halbarad. So Aragorn and Halbarad come with the Lost Realms basic expansion, so they're in there. Then we've got Berevor, she's from the original, um, from the base game. Um, get Eleanor is from Gondor, and then I think, well, we've got Berevor twice. These are all my dwarves. Then we've got another Aragorn, and that's a, um, Leadership Aragorn from the base game. This is Eowyn, she's from Rohan, so she's not a Dunedain either. We've got Bard the Bowman, some more dwarves, Gandalf, Harma, he's from Rohan, Sam Gamgee, of course, they're all hobbits. Bran, son of Bain, is uh, from Dale. Then we've got Eladan and his brother Elruhi. We've got Boromir, Beorn, Theodred, Prince Imrahil of Dolamroth. Um, and we've got another Aragorn. So <clears throat> the problem is we cannot, I mean, we could in theory construct um, a deck using three Aragorns, which of course is not allowed. You can't have the same hero, even if uh, they are from different spheres and basically different incarnations, um, more than once. Um, so that doesn't work. Um, so uh, we could go with... Um, Aragorn, uh, the Dunedain Ranger, um, um, he, because the values are the same, they are T2, 3, 2, 5, and threat of 12. Um, so we could go like this, and then we would have a bisphere, law and uh, leadership, or we could go with, and this Aragorn um, has a refresh, during the refresh action, it allows us to reduce our threat to our starting threat level, limited once per game. That's interesting. Or we take uh, Aragorn, uh, the, 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 the leadership Aragorn. After Aragorn commits to a quest, spend one resource from his resource pool to ready him. That's interesting. So he would be a quester. Or we take the one that comes with the Lost Realms, which um, is a fighter, and he's also got the warrior keyword. Um, and this one reduces um, our enemies, our engaged enemies' shields by one. And I think I'm going to go with this one. But this means that we have essentially trisphere, and the problem is we have one sphere not in there that I really love, and that's the spirit sphere. So, um, however, we do have leadership, um, which allows us to do something that I haven't done in a very long time, and that is to play... Um, well, first of all, we have Stuart of Gondor, which we can bring in, but also Sneak Attack. Sneak Attack is a really, really nifty card, we could also bring in Calibrian Stone, and that's going to be now interesting. So now we have to think about, if we are going to go with this, how are we going to construct our deck now? Um, usually, I never ever leave home without Unexpected Courage, because that's a card that allows you to um, unexhaust a hero that has exhausted. But for this, you need spirit. Okay. Um, we also want to create a Noldor deck. Uh, we also want to create a Dunedain deck. So we should be looking for Dunedain 
um, cards. That's that's most important. And um, what does this actually do? Oh, it works for everyone. Okay, so. Um, now let's take a look at our heroes. The problem with our heroes is that they are not all... I mean, they're not really powerful. We have a threat of 32 between them, which is a lot. Um, Better War's ability is to exhaust and then to choose a player. That player draws two cards. That's neither here nor there. I mean, she is a very weak person. She has two in everything and four. But she still has ten threat. When I compare her to, let's say, Glorfindel, he's got three, three, one, five life points, and he's got five threat. So, um, she is really, really expensive, but he has a really, really nice ability. Give him Light of Valinor and he quests without exhausting. And he quests for three. If I exhaust her to send her on a quest, she only um, quests for two. And then her unique ability, which is to, uh, to act as a card draw um, person, doesn't come into play because she has been exhausted. So in order for her to be able to use what she can do, we definitely need unexpected courage, which we can't have because we don't have a spirit hero. So let's just then look at what we've got. We could, because we have um, leadership, we can bring in Celebrian Stone. The attach, we attach to a hero and the attached hero gains plus two. Um, interestingly enough, it's not unique, so we can have this multiple times. So we could give it to Halbarad, who would then be questing for four. And the point is also that um, he doesn't commit, uh, he doesn't exhaust when he commits to a quest if we have enemies engaged. So, Celebrian Stone, if we attach it to our friend Aragorn, he automatically gets the spirit ability or sphere. Gimanavek. Which means, lo and behold, we can suddenly play spirit cards. So we definitely want Celebrian Stone in there. Then we want, of course, unexpected courage and we want normally I would say we also need the burning brand why do we need the burning brand because normally you give this to, uh, to Elrond and then Elrond is your um, go-to hero to um, to defend however because you have to attach this to a law character now the problem is that the only law character at the moment that we have is Beravor and her <clears throat> defense is only two and she's really weak so <clears throat> we'll have to see what we do about that Definitely, if we're going to go with leadership, we will need um, Sneak Attack, and I want this three times. Why is it such a good card? Well, you will combine it in most cases that you use it. Um, you will use it to... Um, to bring in Gandalf. Um, you're also going to use cram. We're going to have two campfire tails, and we're going to have one of the two of these. These are all card draw. Um, and Calibrian stone one more time because it's not unique. You can have this. Uh, you can give this to multiple people at the same time, which is a bit odd, but it does work. Um, Uh, 
and we want the Steward of Gondor twice. Interestingly enough, again, you can give this to multiple people at the same time. Um, Um, so we have attachments that will increase our ability to um, to quest. We've got attachments that increase our ability to pay for things. We've got two sneak attacks, we've got three times cram, which allows us to, we can attach this for free to a hero and it allows us to basically ready that hero, which is very helpful. So I think we can get away with just one unexpected courage. Um, then let's see. Um, Here we've got um, the Weather Hills Watchman. He's a Dunedain. After Weather Hills Watchman enters play, search the top five cards of your deck for a signal card and add it to your hand. Um, yeah. Not so sure. <clears throat> Let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got the Dunadine Hunter. Um, now this is a is a is a um, is a tactics card. He's an ally that you play for free. However, um, how this works is you only play him for free and retain him in play if you then um, find one enemy in the top five cards from the encounter deck. Um, and then you have to discard him. So I guess we can take one of them because he comes free. That's engaging an enemy that's not engaged with us. Secret Vigil, I really like this. Attached to an enemy, limited, limit once per enemy. So we're gonna add this definitely in three times two. Um, <clears throat> These are all dwarves, Bayon, Rivendell Blade, Citadel. Horn of Gondor. No, how would they get this? They are Dunedain. They have nothing to do with Gondor because Gondor has no king and Gondor needs no king. Um, yeah. Gondolin Cleaver is a nice one, but it only works if we have weapons. And at the moment, I'm not sure if we will have weapons. Um, they could have a Dagger of Westerness, I guess. So if we do this, then we could, of course, take this one. <clears throat>
That's a null door. These are all either, what are you? Your bottom yellow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is for low thread groups, which we definitely are not. <clears throat> because I'm really concerned about the thread. We have a very high thread. That's, that's dangerous. Quite dangerous. Um, so we definitely need threat mitigation. We're going to need him. I'm going to take this one song. You know, we can get away without this, and I think I want this as well. Um, and I want this. Okay, so. <clears throat> um, let's take a look. We've got... This is out of scope. This is also out of scope, out of scope. Blue, blue, out of scope. Tactics. So, at the moment, uh, the most cards we have would have to be played by Aragorn. Um, did I not pull out two, two Stewards of Gondor? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, Better War only has like one that she's going to play, so we're going to give her something else to do. Um, I'm going to give her the Protector of Lorien. And we're going to give her a Burning Brand just to be sure. Because it is nice to be able to get rid of um, um, terrible cards. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 28, 32. Okay, so now we really need to look into allies because we have none. Uh, Sanford Sentry, he's very expensive. I like these, we're going to take these. I'm going to take one of the sentries. And let's see what else we have. So he's a sentry. Warden of Anuminas. Warden of Anuminas gets plus one for each enemy engaged with you. Yeah, that's also somebody we would... That's a star bridge. Gonna take the star brooch. Um, Take an ancient mathem.
a northern tractor. Oh, these are all L's. Yeah. Um, okay, what else do we have over here? What other signals do we have? Because I know that there aren't just you, there are plenty of signals. Dunedain warning. Ah, yeah, we're going to take the Dunedain warning because it allows us to increase someone's um, Denmark. It really is true. We simply do not dine wanderer, do not dine ranger, ranged sentinel. They are really expensive. Son of Anor, what do you do? After Son of Anor enters play, choose an enemy card in the staging area or currently engage with another player. Engage that enemy. Super. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's not the kind of ally I need or want. Um, these are Rohirrim. Maybe have a third sneak attack. Dunadine Quest. We're going to bring in this Dunadine Watcher. And we're going to bring in one son of Anor. Um, yeah, because as you can see, if you really want to build something that is, and even like with the Steward of Gondor, that's not thematic because, you know, 
that there is no chance that any of these would be let's see what we've got then we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 34, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So we have one more card that we can put in here. And I will go for... You know what? I will go for a West Road Traveller. Oh no, she's from Rohan, we can't. Uh, yeah, I will go for... A test of will. That always comes in handy. Um, so then we're going to put this together. And we shall see what we shall see. But I will play with this deck. Um, and I'm going to play a quest. Because I have no idea how successful this is going to be. I feel that we probably have... Um, well, we don't really need... But we've got plenty of card draw. That much is true. Um, We've got some threat mitigation um, because our threat is very high. We've got this card and we've got it three times. That's the secret vigil, which you can attach to a um, an enemy. Um, and then when you kill that enemy, um, you reduce your own threat by that, um, by that enemy's threat value, which is super helpful. So I guess we're going to make Berivor a... Our main quester. Uh, sorry, we're going to make her our our main um, uh, person to um, shield us from harm. So she's going to have to be buffed using a signal to give her one more shield. So that she has three shield. And then she will also be given the Burning Brand, which allows us to avoid shadow cards. Well, you don't avoid them. They do get played, but you can ignore them, which is probably even better because you remove them, at least for the time being, from play. And then we'll see if we have... Um... And then this guy should be our main quester, because when we have enemies engaged, he doesn't um, exhaust to quest, which is super. And if we then give him plenty of um, additional questing power... ...then we should be fine. We've got several um, signals. 
and you can give this Dunedain warning to a hero multiple times. So we can actually give her um, twice this um, the, the, the buff that this brings, which would bring her up to four, which will make her a very, very good defender. So, um, and considering that we don't have that many Dunedain cards that we can play, because simply there aren't that many Dunedain cards, I think we have, um, we've got as good a deck as you can get, considering that we haven't broken open the other um, the other decks yet um, that come with the well the the, the quest decks the uh, well the adventure um, packs where I assume you will get many more interesting player cards that are Dunedain themed. So that's that, and then what we're going to do is we are going to play a fan made expansion called. The Lost Road, Growing Darkness, and in order to play this, we need stuff from the base game. And I'm going to prepare this and set it up, and we're going to take our Dunadain people for a quest to see how they fare. And I hope you'll join me then, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.